We're Esther and Mark Anderson from Infuse Dance and we've been working with wonderful Attenborough Arts Centre for the Sensory Atelier programme. We've been in Ellesmere for five weeks and we've been working with the children to provide opportunities to work in a regio approach. We've been able to provide these opportunities that are so relevant and engaging for the children because they can respond in their own time and in any way that they want to. There's no right or wrong and this process is wonderful for these children because it's about exploration, curiosity, experiencing all the senses and we gently support them with a the scaffolding to develop their movement, to develop the creative thinking behind it. We've had some wonderful um, moments where the children have been brushing through the scarves um, and getting the feedback from pulling tape off the floor. Um, and often those moments don't happen at school. They're told to leave them alone, do not touch. But within these sessions, they're allowed to be themselves and just explore it in the way that they really want to. There are lots of moments that we, we observe when we're doing this type of work um, where the children are, are doing some fascinating exploration of, of the provocations that we've, we've put in the space. Um, and we really have to make sure that we allow them the time to, to explore explore their, their, their curiosity. Um, and one of the things you'll often see with, uh, with staff when we're working with them is we, we'll have set something up and it, and it look it look lovely, it look very beautiful. Um, and, but the children want to change it. They want to change what it looks like. They want to stretch, they want to pull, they want to pull up they'll, or down. Or, and, and often uh, an adult's uh, instinctive response to that is really to say stop. Um, this is what it's supposed to be and we have to keep it looking like that and this is how we're supposed to interact with with whatever it is in the space and it's a real challenge I think for a lot of adults to actually stop and actually see what happens to the space and and if it comes up if all the, we set lots of tape on the floor if it all comes up and gets pulled up and it all disappears that's fine because what we're then seeing is well what then happens there's so much feedback so much creativity happening as this this thing that we've set up actually then disappears and is destroyed but it's not just destroyed it's turned into something else i think the first thing a few of the children who are more verbal in the class was just a wow moment for them which was really really lovely they hadn't used that space very often in school before because of the nature of bubbles and pandemic kind of restricting that for them so immediately it was a new space for them to be in a new thing for them to explore and seeing things in there that they'd never seen before immediately was a real change for them and i think yeah there was a real immediate amazement moment for them which was really really lovely for them to see um, as a teacher i think sometimes it's hard not to want to intervene quite a lot with the learning that's going on um, but it is lovely to give them complete freedom to explore and just to use the space as they see fit with the different resources and as they build up every week they're seeing something new to interact with um, just completely in line with their own abilities because the children in my class particularly are all so very different and love very different things. It's really lovely that they can just completely engage with and interact with that space in the way that works for them. So the environment really allowed for our children to sort of take their learning where they wanted to. Sometimes, although you know our classroom isn't necessarily restrictive, some of the resources don't necessarily allow the children to really sort of take their exploring to the level they want to and they can get frustrated. Um, whereas in the session, you know, just the bubble wrap on the floor really allowed particularly one of our children to really take that where she wanted, you know, she was stretching, pulling, she was really exploring the bubble wrap in really intricate detail, she didn't get frustrated at all because the resource and just, you know, quite the simplisticness of it really allowed her to really explore that on her own level. It's been a whole, a whole new world for them from, you know, a different area of school, new adults, a whole new learning environment. I think the, the differentiation over the weeks and the different activities that have been provided for the children to explore has sort of it's enabled us to learn a lot more about the children as well and you know what can we tap into and actually implement in our classroom um, just to encourage that exploration again you know and that, and that discovery for them moving forward not just in that session as well. 
The impact for the students um, at Ellesmere is, is really enriching not just their education, their academic education, but also those social opportunities, those opportunities to engage with the arts. That the arts isn't just something that other people can access, that it opens those doors to, to everybody really. Um, and we found by being part of this project that actually more and more of our students and their families have then access more local arts provision and they'll come back and talk to us about what they've accessed there because actually they've seen that they can go to those places, they can be part of that. So for us as a school, it's also about um, enabling our staff to see those opportunities that are available for our students, to look at those different ways of working with our students and allowing the students to take the lead in things. So it's quite a, a different approach really as a, as a teacher, um, but that that really that student-led, looking at how our environment feeds into the things that we do in school um, and really embracing those opportunities. We often think of ourselves as the adults, the teachers, the people that know it all, but actually the children have so much to give and so much to say, whether that's physically, creatively, um, and come back with the most wonderful creative responses if they're only given the opportunity.